Well, hello guys on YouTube today. How are you guys today? Well, I want to talk to you guys about not using the push on terminals on the back of switches and outlets today. I also got a 12 2 gauge dryer and a 14 gauge dryer. The 12 2 gauge is a lot thicker than the thin old 14 gauge dryer. By the one, one is little and one is a white kettle as well. Well, we got two outlets and two and one switch to talk to you guys about. The problem is, you see these push terminals here? Don't, do not use these things because once you push these in, they're a pain in the butt to come out because you have to use a very small fly screwdriver or you have to cut them off. I would recommend just using the screw terminals or the best option because they give you a solid connection on both either the ground and the hot side of each of the switch. And this is a auto reciprocal. This is an auto outlet by the way. This is was back feed, back fed by the way. It was back feed on these uh, push on terminals by the way. These terminals do come loose over time when you have the wire inside the terminal uh, the terminals here. I don't like using that because some wire can only fit in here. Like something wild, like a 14 gauge or a 12 2 gauge won't fit in there. And again, a nice saw connection. And you can tell this one's an old one. It has the flat edge side. And of course, it has the double grounded uh, jumper right over here. Again, a non old style plug. And again, two more things on this side of the. You can see, I don't know if you guys can see that. You can see it's pretty badly bent. And other time these will get hot because if you actual overload these outlets, they can actually melt, by the way. Um, the same thing with the newer outlets. Do the same thing. Use the terminal screws. Do not use these uh, little push-in connectors. I know they're a lot easier, but don't use them. And again, on the hot side as well. Again, you're hot, new ground, and neutral. And again, here's a couple of wires here, my 12 gauge, uh, 12 2 gauge wire. And again, the 14, inch, the 14 inch copper wire is pretty thin. By the way, uh, here's a 12 2 gauge copper wire. It's a pretty thick uh, piece of wire though, but the reason why I don't like using the push in terminals on the switches and outlets because one thing they will short out when you push them into the wall and once you take them back out the push terminals will come eventually loose. The screws are a solid <coughs> connection all you do is you screw them in and you tighten them down and stuff like that. Um, so with what these uh, uh, newer switches don't use these uh, crappy uh, push on terminal uh, things guys. Prefer to use the screw terminals because you're gonna get a lot better results and a lot better uh, issue, a better not issues with the push on connectors like you do here. You will not get a, you will get a very better connection with the screws. By the way, this is the newest uh, style outlet. It's a pretty new one than the older one. It only has a single ground screw on it and the uh, new one or the old one the new one eh, you know that one but the problem is if you're going to be using a 12 2 uh, gauge dryer on a on a 15 amp uh, uh, outlet it's not going to work because the wire is too thick to fit in some of these <coughs> holes and yeah it does because sometimes it does happen over time with the outlets coming loose uh, uh, the Collectors can come out of the push on terminals on the back of the on the back of the outlet. I don't like using the I do not like using the uh, terminals on the back of these guys. I understand it makes it a lot easier to just to strip them and stick them in there. Don't do that. Use these. Be smart. And by the way, don't have your don't be a don't have it at a risk of your house or, or your business or whatever is going to be dangerous. You know, just do it the right way. Do it the proper way to screws on either side of the hot and neutral side and also the ground. Don't forget the ground, guys. Same thing with light switches. <coughs> light switches are the same way. Again, don't use these. 
use the screws on the back. Because once you push these in your salt box, okay, like a uh, metal box, a uh, plastic box, you push them in and you have to take them back out. What happens if that uh, live circuit came out of the uh, switch? Uh, one thing can happen, you can accidentally electrocute yourself, or you can actually danger somebody else, or you can danger your house, or your a whole electrical system <coughs> inside your house, by the way. And if you're going to be using a 12-2 gauge wire, the proper size outlet will be the proper size for this wire with the screws on either side. Again, the push on terminals will not work for a 12-2 gauge cable because they're too small of a hole. So on these other ones may have the bigger size, but they may not actually have the bigger size uh, gauge holes. And the wire is the correct wire for whatever, uh, whatever you decide to use for your uh, projects. Always make sure you don't overload your 14 gauge wire <coughs> or your 12 2 gauge wire. By the way, that's just the reason why I want to explain to you on some of the terminals of these outlets on which way is the proper way to actual wire the plugs the right way. Now, back feeding the wires into outlets is not a good idea because once you put a, a terminal here, a terminal here, a wire and a wire here, and you try to push it in, what's going to happen? One, you're going to probably break the outlet, or two, you're going to, your wire's going to come loose. I don't know if you guys can see that. Those holes are very small. Those holes are meant for a thinner cup wire. Not a thicker 12-2 gauge wire, it's only thin enough for this 14 gauge wire, if you guys can see that. This is a 14 scrap piece of wire, and this is a 12-2 scrap piece of wire. But just use the proper terminal screws on your outlets, on your switches, and stuff like that. You should be fine. And with stranded wire, again, stranded wire is a little bit different because you may have to wrap it around the screw. You can't stick it in holes. Stranded wire is completely different because it's just stranded cable. Uh, you can also use crimp on connectors and stuff like that. But, you know, I like being safe with my electrical work and electrical projects I do. Um, any type of electrical things I do here at home, by the way. I am not a licensed electrician. I'm just showing you guys on the difference of the proper way and the long way to proper wire your outlets, by the way. The right way is using screws on the sides of the outlets. Do not use, again, do not use the push-on terminals and the screws. If you really want to know why I prefer not to use the push-on terminals, is once the, once the plugs come loose in the inside, it's not only to fix those stretched out pins on the inside of the plug, okay? This would be absolutely trash. Absolutely garbage, by the way. This is absolutely not a safe way to wire this uh, plug. Now again, this is a older style plug. You can see it's a lot heavier duty built and versus the newer plugs. But the difference, it doesn't matter which one you get. They're all going to be the same thing. Use the terminal screws around each of the outlets. Now this one I'm not going to be able to use because it's absolutely junk. It's absolutely garbage. Again, this is a new light weight plug. <coughs> Again, screws on either side of the connector. It's the solid way to connect things on your 12-2 gauge wire or your 14 gauge wire on any type of electrical projects. Now, I have a couple uh, things that are different, like I will show you uh, one example of this new 15 amp outlet, by the way. This is a single, only a single circuit uh, uh, ground, a single circuit outlet. It has your, your neutral, your hot, and ground. And on the back of this one, look at the difference. You can see, same size like holes, connectors. But if that screw comes on, I don't know if you guys can see that. 
is a solid metal plate in the back of this uh, connectable for you can actually have a saw connection by the way guys a saw connection is important for electrical like by the way electrical can be quite dangerous it can uh, shock you it can put your house out danger you can accidentally shock yourself and stuff like that I don't know I mean leave, leave your feedback on the on these different outlets I and switches I've been talking about if you're new to this channel go ahead and please subscribe and leave a comment below peace out bye guys we'll see you and the next vlog